welcome back to my channel. I apologise for the way that I look. This is literally the only thing that I can manage to fasten right now. Day two post-op. Can't actually lift my arms up to put any makeup on. Um, so you're just going to have to deal with me as I am. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. This is really, really close up and I look very pale. I do apologise. Don't really care. Um, so yeah, it's been a good couple of days. I think the hardest thing, as I mentioned yesterday, the days are all rolling into one. Um, this is so uncomfortable. Kneeling. <laughs> the hardest thing, and you're probably going to laugh, it might be TMI, but is not the uncomfortableness. It's the fact that my ass is so sore. And I don't mean sore in like a lifting, ooh, lifting kind of way. I mean the fact that I'm sleeping, sitting up, I'm sitting down quite a lot or I'm just walking about because obviously I can't lie down. If I do lie down, I literally need, Paul's being like, you know them hoists that you have in hospitals? I feel like I need one of those because you lie down and then can't sit up. I never realised how much you actually use your chest muscles for just everything. Even things like trying to lift my arm up to scratch my head. It's not doable sometimes. But I'm good. I, um, I'm not on painkillers, other than perhaps my I think I said that yesterday as well. The last time I had some, it's now 12 o'clock and I haven't had any since 4am this morning. So I'm feeling good. Lots of ice packs. It works wonders, trust me. And that right there has been my, my uh, station. It's not good sitting on a hard chair either, but you know, you do what you gotta do. Um, so feeling good. I think we're going to venture out a little bit later on. Paul's just nipped out for a couple of meetings for work. Currently knelt on the floor. I apologise for that in the background. Can't really do anything about it. It is clean washing, so, you know, whatever. Um, I think we're going to pop out later for a coffee um, and some fresh air because I'm feeling a bit like, is it cabin fever? You know, when you're stuck in the house, I just need some fresh air. I just wanted to update you on things that I'm finding a little bit difficult. If I keep wobbling around like this, you're gonna have to uh, just pretend it's not happening. Pressing the seatbelt. So these are, this, these are the kind of the things that I've found the most unusual that I didn't think would be an issue. Um, opening doors, no, no. No, 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 do not push up all, that is just not happening. Um, I'm walking around, can you remember that impulse advert from years ago where they're like, their arms are stuck to the side? I'm walking around like that. Um, Taking deep breaths as well, because I guess everything's obviously quite quite sore. Um, I can't take deep breaths. Yawning is just like a mammoth task because you want it. You want it. In, oh, it's making me want to yawn now. Ooh. Yawning, sneezing, laughing. Oh my god! Do not make me laugh because that hurts. Um, uh, what else? Pressing seat belts doesn't happen. Flushing the toilet and turning taps on, well that's just a whole other ball game. And to be honest, when you're gonna go, Paul, can you flush the toilet for me please? <laughs> it's, not, it's not the best, is it really? So it does help if you've got someone there with you to do all these little things. Getting dressed, button up is my best friend. And I need to get some more pyjamas because this needs to go in the wash. I've had these on for the past two days. Um, anything that you're going to put over your head, just cut that out right away. Because unless you're a superhuman being, I don't know how you would get your arms up past here. It's not happening. Lots of questions as well off. Nice people. And thank you for all your well wishes. So, I think I will try and find the questions and go through them. I'm kind of doing this on a whim, so bear with me. Hang on. Becky Marie says, hope you have a speedy recovery, Gemma. How long are you not allowed to train for? Well, how long am I not allowed or how long should I not train for? They've basically said, don't do anything for 12 weeks at least. Um, people that I've spoken to have had the procedure done before. I think it just kind of depends. I personally definitely won't be doing anything upper body wise for 12 weeks. Um, cardio, I'm just kind of generally getting out. 
I, I want to start doing like as soon as because just being stuck in the house and going from being so active to doing nothing is absolutely killing me. So cardio, I'm hoping to get out. Just go for a nice little walk, some fresh air. A lot of my questions have been on Snapchat, so if you've ever got like an instant question, just Snapchat me and I will get back to you. Because I'm nice like that. We Annie on YouTube says, how long will your recovery take? I've heard that getting implants under the muscle means no training chest gain. What have you been told about that? I hope all went well and hope you are recovering already. So kind of like the previous question, recovery wise, I think everybody's different. Um, I know when I was in the hospital they said to me that I came out from the anaesthetic really, really quickly and that I didn't seem to be in too much pain. Mm, questionable, but you know, no, it's just discomfort. Um, so that's why they didn't give me any painkillers. Also because I can't take codeine, the, the next painkiller up would have been tramadol and they said that that was too strong. So I'm just on ibuprofen and paracetamol. Um, implants under the muscle does take a lot longer to recover apparently and apparently it's a lot more painful as well. In terms of training chest, again I know people that do still train chest personally, I don't know if I will, I don't know what it's going to feel like, uh, it might feel really really strange and alien so we will just wait and see but I don't like the idea of training muscles over the top of um, the implants because it wants to go tight and like misshapen and everything else, you've got to look after them. So we will see. I just think this is really nice. Well done for being open and honest about the whole thing. Like you said, not a lot of information is available. You've explained everything perfectly clear. I understand more than I did before about the whole press process. And it's definitely something I'm considering myself. I wish you a speedy recovery. Hope you feel happier. You still look as amazing as ever. That's really nice, thank you. Um, I got a couple of questions on Snapchat as well in terms of like the whole thought process that I went through and um, why I've decided to put it out on social media. I think I said that in my first video that I, I know when I was looking into it there wasn't a lot out there. There's not a lot of information that you can find. Um, so I wanted to put my, my, what do you call it, my, get your words out Gemma, my experience out there for anyone who has questions or who is thinking about it or, um, you know, just so you can see what I'm going through, really. So I hope it's helping. If you haven't checked it out, then it's the previous video, um, previous two videos. And I'm going to keep vlogging my progress, I guess, for the next few weeks, just to keep you up to date until I'm back training. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to keep this really short because there's not really much more of an update that I need to tell you. I feel good. Oh, I haven't yet had a bath, which means I've not had a bath for two days. I feel gross. Um, baby wipes will be your friend. I also can't use deodorant because I can't lift my arms up. Spray deodorant will be your friend. Get some baby wipes. And then um, if you find yellow bits, it's iodine. Don't worry. They told me that. I was like, I think I'm going mouldy. No, it's all right. <laughs> oh, don't laugh. That hurts. Um, it's just iodine. So lots of baby wipes. Um, you cannot get the dressings wet. Also, I'm not strapped. I don't have dressings. I'm not strapped. It's just a, a support bra thing that you have to buy. Um, so yeah, you're not allowed to get dressings wet. And my next checkup will be next Tuesday. I hope I can have a bath by then. Just sit in and have a little splash, you know. But that is one of the things as well that you can't really wash properly. Hence, having someone else there to help you is, is a bonus. But I'm gonna leave it there. As always, if you've got any more questions, please just leave them in the comments because I will try and get back to you. Um, if you don't follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, then please do put my links just here because I'm trying to keep you all up to date. I feel like I'm out of breath. I'm trying to keep you all up to date through my Insta stories and Snapchat on a daily basis as well. And yeah, I hope that you're finding these informative, helpful, useful. And if you think that they might help anyone else that you guys know, then please just share the video, feel free. And give it a thumbs up, obviously. 
If you haven't subscribed as well, please do. And I will see you in the next one. That was a really, really bad kiss. Hang on, try again. Ha! See you later.